What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this coupler lock from Amp Locks. Now, this is going to work with your coupler on your trailer, and what it's going to do is you're going to put the ball in the coupler and the lock along the lip, and then it should be all locked up and nobody can mess with it. Let's check it out. It's a really easy process. We're just going to put the ball up here in the coupler like you normally would. Lock that in the place. You can see it's locked in there. It's not going to go anywhere. And then we add the second part of the lock, which this part here is going to fit right over the flat lip of our coupler. And you're going to line up this with the hole on the ball there. And just slide it into place. And then lock it up. So now that ball has taken up that empty space here in the coupler so nobody can get anything up there to wedge it out. And then this is covering up the front of it too. So that's just like double protection so people can't mess with this coupler. It's actually a pretty snug fit on our coupler today. It's moving back and forth, but there isn't a lot of space and then there's not a lot of gap. So let's test that out with a pry bar. It's gonna put that into place. Yeah, it looks like it will fit in there and you can push on it a little bit, but it's not moving anywhere. I'm not pushing that hard, but it's still staying in place pretty good. Looks like it can fit in under here on the side too. Now this way I can't really pry against anything. This way I might be able to just a little bit, but it really does take up a lot of those gaps. I mean, there's not an easy way to get this in there. So if somebody was to mess with it, it would take them quite a bit of time to get in there and do anything. I think they would probably just walk on to the next sure that it doesn't have a lock on it. Another good thing to test is to see with the latch undone, it's not going to just drop back out. It doesn't drop that ball. This is working in combination with that ball. Keep this locked up nice and tight. So even if you don't have a locking pin that goes in there to keep that from moving, you still can't just get it out that easily. Another thing to note is here at the bottom, the tumbler lock. Now I really like that because it's going to be resistant to drilling and picking. And it's got like a million different combinations or possibilities for a key. So chances are no one's going to have the same key and they're not going to mess with it to try and get in there. It does come with two keys you get, and you see I just turn that and pop that button out. That means it's disengaged. When you want to go to lock it, you just push it into place and it's locked. It's nice that when you go to set this up, you don't have to have the key in there to lock it. I like that push button because you can just do that and your key's on the side. The construction is cast iron with an E coating, so you don't have to worry about the elements bothering it at all. So if you leave it out here and it rains or anything like that, it's not going to rust or corrode on you. The other thing is it's going to be shock absorbent, so if somebody was to hit with a hammer, it wouldn't just shatter, it would absorb that shock. Taking a look at the inside of the coupler, this is going to fit trailers of coupler widths of 4 and 9 sixteenths of an inch, and then a thickness lip of 7 sixteenths of an inch. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at your trailer, this is the ones it's going to fit. Overall, I really like this lock. I like that the two-in-one combo is pretty heavy duty too. I like the fact that this covers up the front of the coupler. And this is going to take up that space on the inside. So like you saw with the pry bar, it's going to be hard to get those angles to get in there. And like I said before, pretty sure people are going to take one look at this and go, I'm not messing with that and go on to the next trailer. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.